Yesterday, I told you about a blog that gave me a little bit different perspective on the issue of UX. Today, I want to tell you about one that 100% validates something I've been telling you. I'll try not to break my arm patting myself on the back when we return. Hey, Colin, Receiver here. And one of the things that differentiates my company, Smartbox, is our use of video. I saw the potential for video very early on, and we have a whole team of video gurus here to maximize video's effectiveness for our dental clients. We use video for our doctors and their staff, and this helps prospects get to know the doctor and the staff without ever stepping foot into the office. We also use video of patients, your patients, that give heartfelt, often emotional testimonials. There are a few better ways to establish social proof and demonstrating your expertise than having one of your patients cry on camera because they're so overwhelmed by how you changed their life. It's very powerful stuff. Now, I came across a blog a while ago from a woman who specializes in influencer marketing. Influencer marketing is working to get other people talking about your product or service and hoping that drives the people who know or follow those people back into your business. Now, I'm not completely sold on it, but if she can make a living doing it, more power to her. Anyway, one of the things she wrote about on her blog was the power of video. Her perspective was mostly on social media. Now, I'm not going to get started in that, but a couple interesting things that she did have to say. A recent study found that video posts have the highest organic reach on Facebook and more than double what a photo has. One mobile commerce group estimates that two-thirds of the world's mobile data traffic will be video by next year. She said her clients are reluctant to use video for the same reason as our doctors are. You know, first off, a lot of doctors perceive professional videos to be too expensive. Secondly, they're trying to do it themselves and they just don't work out. Or third, a lot of doctors don't think they're good or the, the videos that they have done, they don't look good on camera. Now, her blog goes on to talk about how she recommends using influencers to make videos about you. She suggests influencers such as people with dedicated audiences on YouTube or Instagram, Reddit, Pinterest, Vine, and other social media. I would suggest you even dentists have better influencers. Leverage your existing patients. People who already know you, love you, and are already giving you word-of-mouth advertising to the people that are in their spheres of influence. In this perspective, maybe I should add influencer marketing to the list of services that we offer. <laughs> but all kidding aside, video is not the wave of the future. Video is right now. Using video to attract more and better dental patients is happening all around you. To learn more about how to leverage video for your practice, check out our website. And if you're ready to discover what my clients know about attracting new patients online that you don't, set up a patient attraction blueprint session. They're free to any serious dentist who wants to see what a patient attraction system that can double your practice would look at. For more information, go to smartboxwebmarketing.com slash blueprint. And until tomorrow, always keep moving forward. Oh